everyone. This is Nate from Nate's Here and There, coming to you from near or far. Today, we are here at Soda City Comic Con. This is my second year, which is ninth year altogether for the Comic Con. So, we are going to walk around. Hopefully, we can see the main reason I came is Peter Collin, the voice of Optimus Prime. Hopefully, I haven't missed a Q&A or a uh, talks. So, grab a chair on the state the Lord has made. Sit back and enjoy. wristband for today about to walk in I'm gonna walk over here first and see what the uh, uh, see if he's came in yet uh, Peter Collin before I go any further this right here is cool look at this it's Legos or bricks it says Lego right here that's Avengers Building. This is really cool. Right here. <laughs> yeah, that was a room I just went into. And Peter Carlin was in there signing autographs and stuff. So yeah, that's like a childhood memory right there. The Transformers. I couldn't do any video because. It's they don't allow it. I'm gonna say this too. This is another side over here. This is all. Oh, this is Lego. This is amazing right here. They even got Star Wars playing baseball. And there's Optimus Prime right here. This is crazy. And it's one of the Transformers picking up the W uh, Channel 19 bus or van. This had to take a lot of work for this. This is right. I'm going downstairs to the Comic Con. But Peter Collin is not doing anything today. I really wish he was. It's tomorrow. It's on Sunday, the second day. God, that's a lot of people. Oh, here on the back side. But this is the vendor that has a lot of pops I mean, this whole wall and in there and there's a table over there too it's full of pops there's, there's some of them I do not even know uh, who they are a lot of these vendors like this has all the anime pictures oh they even got bumblebee Got a bunch of them back there on the wall too. Oh, they got Johnny Bravo right here. It's Johnny Bravo. I used to love that cartoon. You know, I would love the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I love these. Put it up in your man cave. Oh, it's a smaller picture of Johnny Bravo. And the powder purse girls. That's some anime right there. And there's a vendor that has tons and tons of comic books. Stuff that the new Titans. The Forge. Captain Victory.
Now some of these are anime. Now these guys right here were at HeroCon up in Charlotte when I was up there in June. I love these. Got one of these uh, bit booths that has a lot of jewelry. Bracelets, charms, phone stands. The tray and phone stand is $8. It's not bad. This is a vendor I met down in Bishopville. It's got a small store down there. This is his coasters. I love these. The Goonies, Never Say Die. Star Trek, G.I. Joe, I like that. And this is the same vendor. He has a lot of cups, anime cups, Star Wars, Godzilla. He's got some stuff in the bins down here just to pick up. And I'll tell you this, I like this shirt right here. I remember when boomboxes looked like that. Yeah. Like origin story, basically. That's great. I like that. That's the old 1980s. He was so far ahead of his time. And this is Loft 817, and this is their uh, work. This is really good right here. The Green Dragon, Red Dragon, Blue Dragon. And this is the uh, artist, Taffy Paints, original paintings, stickers, keychains, and more. It's amazing work right here. Made uh, Snow White look like a doll. Horror doll. That's Alice in Wonderland. The Little Mermaid. That's pretty cool right there. Oh yeah, this is a Destiny Surreal Art and Creations, and I love I love this, especially that one right there. sister would love this. Crafty as cats. She loves this kind of stuff like this. Some pocket books. Anime. It's a pocket book right here. Some buttons. Look at this right here. Pigments and pigments. Look at this art. This is really beautiful. Ooh, I like the Santa Claus right there. I like the uh, coffee mugs. So this, I like how to do this Carhartt hoodie and put the leaves on it and a uh, crow. I like that. And this shows right here how she does it. That's amazing right there. <laughs> Say this, I like all this right here. The Lilo and Stitch. 
some of it. It's Dizzy, Anime. These are our keychains. Grandpa. This then right here is the dice dungeon. That's some pretty cool earrings. All these is dice. There's a necklace, charm bracelet. I'm sorry, it was dice. You're talking about cosplay. Let me ask y'all a question. How y'all enjoying y'all's uh, Soda City Comic Con? It's very nice. Yeah, it's going well. <laughs> There's been quite a few people that have wanted pictures, so that's nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. All this right here is Godzilla. Hmm. Oh, this is a. Mm, I like this. Godzilla 2000. I love this. Oh, there's Mecha Godzilla. Look at this right here. I like this. This is anime figures, figurines. 25. I like these action figures too. X Men 97. Nightcrawler. I don't remember if Nightcrawler was actually in the movies. I don't know if he was or not. There's Magneto without a mask on. Ooh, there's some Batman. That's to oh, I like the penguin. Hey, Dad. Look at this vendor right here. They got a lot of plushies over here. A lot. A lot of them in the plastic bins. I like this. I want to see. She's actually picking them up to smell them. Mm, that's the camera. Oh, that smells good. Let's see what the TV smells like. Mmm. And this is Epic Meltdown candy, Candles. And she's got a website. www.epicmeltdowncandles.com love these pictures right here because they they change colors or they change if you walk a certain way they change oh I like that you see the Batman change that's cool right there I'm gonna say this, I love this right here too. Oh, look at this. Cool. This is video games. Oh my goodness. Nintendo 64. That's it. Well, no, that's Star Wars. Oh, that's Zelda 64. Yeah, those are comic games. That's cool. I like that. Wow. Look at this. Game Boy Advance. I've actually never seen that. I used to have this game. And this booth is, um, it's wild. hmm, I don't see them, oh, here it is, Red Fun Games, and they got something going on, and, whoa, start to lose lights in here. Betty, in pure confusion, 
Smoky, a third annual Smoky Mountain Geek Expo, Saturday, October the 19th, 2024, Waynesville, North Carolina. This is a store right down the road. I'm going to do a video at Richard's Collectibles, Comics and Collectibles. I want to go down and do a video one time. We got some amazing uh, Spider-Man comic book store. Wolverine. Now these guys right here are always at the local Comic Cons. I haven't seen them in Hickory, Hero Con, and now here. They got drip. Do do right, inspire people. It's tooling. We got Soda City Con. Hi, let us. And there's Second Land. Drip. Do right, inspire people. Came up this to one table right here. It's season season of the Greek or geek. I love I love this. Anime, I love it. Especially these over here. Came up this to one table right here. It's season of the Greek or the geek. And I love I love this. Anime, I love it. Especially these over here. I like this right here. Tattoo art. And this is uh, some beautiful art up here. This is beautiful. And I like this booth right here. A stitch in a story. I like that. I say these big, I did not have a pattern for. They just came out of my brain. So you just made these? Without a pattern. Wow. This is actually my D&D oh, character. She's a satyr. So she has hooves and horns. Okay. I love this. I really love this. Came over here to another artist table. And he's got a lot of books. Darren Kennedy. You was asking me something about the books. You was asking me about the books. Is there something that you're interested? I'm just wondering. Uh, I, he write. There's a wide variety of fantasy here. Um, every, um, we, he has. This is a psychic murder mystery. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, uh, a a thing where mo everyday people are become pieces in a magical chess game mm -hmm. to decide the fate of the world. That's cool uh, right there. This one, this is his newest one, so I don't remember it exactly, but it's basically, uh, it's, it's kind of like Buffy meets X-Men told through a uh, the, the 80s, mu music of the 80s. Okay. Um, and then he also has Carol, which is Scrooge meets Mean Girls, standalone, <laughs> and... Uh, this is short stories uh, about a necromancer who uh, raises the dead for a living. Huh. All right, I'm here with Stuart Jaffe, and he's going to let me uh, tell me a little bit about his books. He's an author. All right. Well, my best-selling series is the Max Porter Paranormal Mysteries. This is about a husband and wife who moved down to Winston-Salem, North Carolina. He discovers his office is haunted by the ghost of a 1940s detective. So he does what anyone in that situation would do. 
it starts a detective agency with a ghost. I take real history of the area and I mix it with witches, ghost curses, and magic. And there's like 18 books in the series now, so there's a lot to dig into. Um, down here we have the Parallel Society, which is a Finnish series that is contemporary fantasy about a gal who works in her family bookstore and learns that grandma and grandma's two elderly friends have been saving the universe for decades and decades. It's hard to keep it up with a bad back and arthritis, so they want her to take over fighting all the monsters. Down here we've got the Malia Chronicles, which is post-apocalyptic fantasy where magic calls the apocalypse. If you think Xena meets Mad Max, that's what you're in for. We have some standalone science fiction. This is uh, uh, Survival on a Wild Planet. This is about a group that's colonizing a new planet only to find that humans have already been there. Um, down here we got Real Magic, which is a time travel fantasy standalone about a, uh, a sleight of hand card magician and poker cheat. Goes through a magic door to 1934 when modern sleight of hand magic was born from poker cheat techniques the only skill he has and he's got to use it to survive. Uh, I wrote the prose in the book, Cameron Francis, who's the other name there, he is one of the top slide of hand magicians in the world and he, uh, we came up with the idea together, he advised me on how tricks were done back then so we can tell you and he even made up a trick just for this book. Uh, we have two more series, I've written a lot because I'm old. The, uh, the Nathan K series is high, uh, a high action thriller series, kind of like uh, Jack Reacher with Immortality. And then finally, the Red Knight trilogies are high fantasy and mystery brought together. Basically, uh, what would happen if Agatha Christie tried her hand at writing Lord of the Rings knockoffs? Hi, right, thank you. And I will leave his information in the description of this uh, video. So you can check him out. He has a website. So I'll leave it in the description of this video. Look at this right here. They had, I had to take the microphone out. My camera's about to die. But anyway, they got fudge. Superman fudge. Heath bar crunch. Bailey's Irish cream. Belgian chocolate walnut. I like this booth right here. Gamers for gamers. Buy, sell, and trade. Oh, they got some classics. That's Super Mario Brothers. Tetris. Oh, this is my favorite game right here. This was my favorite game, Castlevania. Hundred and fifty for the uh, regular Nintendo. Ooh. Hundred eighty for the Super Nintendo. Look at all the plushies right here. Anime plushies. And some um, Star Wars or uh, Mario Brothers. Yeah, I like these right here. I love these. Like Transformers, robots. I don't like I think these are models. I don't even know what Dino is about. That's a dramatic experience. I like these. I thought that was Kamen Rider. It is. This vendor here has a lot of PlayStation games. I don't see the new football. Oh, I see Madden. That's not Madden, I'm sorry. Got the wrong one. Madden 25. I really like, I want to see the new college football game though. I like this. Uh, eight bit designs. Look at this, it looks like it's 3D. There's Harley Quinn. Yeah. I like the way this looks. Ooh, Street Fighter. Look 
at all these toys and these bins. This laying out. This is um Val. Most of them is most of them is anime. There's some Star Wars in here. Yes, these drinks right here are like thirty something dollars for soft drinks. I'm gonna uh, try to make this in a South Carolina Horror Convention. And this is the flyer for it. I think this is the third year. So I'm gonna try to go. And you talk about some crazy cosplay. Look at that. That's some crazy cosplay here. These are anime like bags, tote bags. <laughs> Appreciate it. A video on this store right here. Up in Charlotte, this is Rebel Base. How you doing, my man? Rebel Base Comics. I have done a video on this store. I will leave that link of that video in this video. They always got good comics. This is what I like, love right here. I love these lightsabers. You got Luke's. Oh, I love these. $200 for them. Two seventy-five for Luke's. that you come into you can come in here and play video games they got all kind of uh, video game consoles you can play Xbox that's Xbox over here all these down through here is Xboxes and I think they're playing the same game it looks like yes that's Halo go dancing over there this is a um, uh, the Wii super uh, this is uh, Nintendo Wii right here and you can like I said if somebody gets up you can, you can go there and sit down and play the game Saturn right here oh my goodness this is Sega Saturn. This is old school right here. Now this is PlayStation. PlayStation 4. It's pretty cool right there. They got good graphics. Another PlayStation 4. Ooh. Look at the Sega Saturn. That's another Sega Saturn. Now look at this right here, they're playing this uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle on a projector on the wall. That's crazy, I like that. Here's your projector right here. I can't tell what system that is. I think that's the, that's a, um, PlayStation. Now I do not know the name of this game right here. Ness and Dr. V. V. I don't know what this is. You're talking about cosplay. I love this. I love the costumes. Oh my goodness. 
Thank you. This is all where the pinball is in here. I love this. I love pinball machines. Oh my goodness. Oh, they got it where you can play sit down. That's crazy right there. We got John Wick. Oh, we got all different types. He's home for sixty-five hundred dollars. These right here are Venom, Spider-Man. We got the Foo Fighters. That's really cool. All of these right here are pretty. I, li I like these. We got Toy Story. Mo that's one I like right here. Monster Bash. I like that one. Going into the gaming room. It also has some more vendors in here too. Now these some um, like Dungeons and Dragons games. This is Warhammer. So Horus Horus Heresy. These right here are some of those marbles. They got some more of these uh, transformer like robots. Tickets to ride and sale. There's Warhammer, 40,000, Heroes of Black Reach. I like these sets right here. This is really cool right here. These are games that you can play. And this one right here. It's really cool right here. This is food from Japan. You got Lay's potato chips, but they're cucumber flavor. Ugh. I don't think so. Ooh, wasabi flavor. And I don't know what these other ones are. They've got the in Japanese. And you got Kiri and that Kiri is hot. I do know that. I love this art right here. Never trust the living. Hey, that's true. I, I, I need to start using that when I do my cemetery videos. Never trust the living. I like this right here, some wooden earrings. Oh, this is wood. Or cardboard, kind of like. Let's see. Now that's wood. Yes, that's wood. Say this, I walked in there where Mark, uh, Peter Collin is. We cannot take selfies. So they tell me to no selfies. That's fine. Um, Bye. So you gotta get a professional picture done. It's like 80. 
So I had to see uh, next Comic Con uh, come up across him. Next time I had to see if I can get one again. You know what I'm saying? If I can get a picture at another Comic Con of him. The suit's right here. I love it. See this while I go when I was looking at it? I just walked by and noticed this. The bat. Oh, God. I can't remember the name of the bat coaster. Or not the coaster, but the jet. I cannot remember the jet's name. The bat wing. I think it is. It's up here. Right there. Oh, man. That was cool right there. You enjoying your Soda City Comic Con? Have a good one. Okay, let me say this. I'm gonna zoom in right quick. That's the Batmobile in the 60s. And I like they went from that one to the newer one. I just noticed it. I walked by it again. Just noticed that. I was going to show you this. One more look, and you can tell that the uh, crowd has dwindled down a little bit considerably. I found me a good spot to end it right here near the outside. The uh, Some kind of architecture right here. But I hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, leave, please leave me some feedback in the comments below. Like, share, comment on the video, subscribe to the channel. With all that said, be safe, God bless, and we'll catch you in the next one. And remember to let go and let God. Bye now.